hata 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 we dem aga do ya no no link and the attack no hata hata bring a old chain set up no link hata 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 New link I recommend this channel people You see Par TV Par TV Oh my world Oh my precious new link Attack Attack Par TV Is one of the baddest The top channel right now people And I'm asking you Please go over there and check out their contents, people. Please go over there and subscribe, people. Because I'm telling you, it's a really informative channel. And I'm telling you, people, it's like the sister channel to New Link. So, Par TV, Par TV, people, I'm going to leave a link right down below. So, you can just go over there and check out the contents. Peace out. Motorists are being advised to avoid Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew, heading towards West King's House Road as a section of the roadway at the intersection of Gore Terrence in the vicinity of CVM Television has been blocked off and reduced to single-lane traffic amid a police investigations. Motorists are being advised to use the Red Hills Road exit as an alternative route, the police said in and release. Members of the public are also being reminded to follow the directives of police personnel on the scene. The development follows the shooting of two policemen who were on patrol in the area early on Thursday morning. The two cops are now nursing gunshot wounds following a confront confrontation with two armed men. Reports are that about 1.30 am, the police team was on patrol in the area when they observed a white Honda Civic motor car park on the roadway. The team approached the vehicle to check on the situation only to have two men inside the vehicle immediately open fire, hitting the law men. Before attempting to flee the scene, the injured officers returned the gunfire and the car subsequently crashed a short distance away. One of the armed men ran from the vehicle and the driver who was shot was held. All three persons were taken to hospital where the unidentified man was pronounced dead while undergoing treatment. The two police officers are currently being treated for their injuries. Some 30 spent shells had reportedly been recovered from the scene by investigators who are currently probing the incident. The shooting comes a little over seven weeks after four police officers were shot and injured in Horizon Park St. Catching while on an operation. Three of the officers, including a superintendent, later succumbed to their injuries in hospital. So, John, no viewers and subscribers, we saw a really a go on now than I had, right? And it's terrible, car. just to tell you, know, people, you know, sometimes you hear the police then make a report and say, you know, there was a shootout and two men were shot and killed. And in the process, none of the police was injured. And sometimes we see plenty of people come and them say, yo, nothing no go so, you know what I mean, I lie the police, I tell and this and that. But in our terms like now, when the police get shot, also, that's when we don't, we hear people saying it's really a shootout. So what I'm saying now, people, and trying for people to understand, not all the time when you hear that a shootout go on, the police has not been shot, right? And the gunman has been shot. Don't think say, I lie the police, them I tell. Because you have someone a yard who doing this shit for true. Them feel like them bad and them feel like them see police, them can shoot up police and come so boom and fled away from the scene. So in the process now, you see, it, it takes many people, I'm telling you about the hard-headed people, them, the people them who don't listen, right? These persons now, when I have to hear say, yo, police get shot for no fully believe, it should not be like that. You know what I mean? Because in the end, people, these two police are in hospital right now, nursing gunshot wounds, right? And you, me, don't know what can be in the, you know what I mean, in the other midst of this. Well, my viewers and subscribers, all I can say is, why a car park, right? Police come so boom, see the car go over there to check what I go on, because they might do them patrolling at the morning and thing. And these men now just feeling at themselves, so look at you know, them. We are going to beat it upon them boy you are running away just because they know they have the illegal strap or whatever. So when them see the police are walking, why them never just drive off the car or something? But in the process, they have to shoot half of the police and shoot the police them. You know what I mean? Viewers and subscribers, 
the police them in a Jamaica, we know so we have a lot of corrupt one, lot of one we are do them crops and them rangs and them banga rangs. But we also have law enforcers who are doing the right. And you have criminals now who just feel like they can come so boom and just boom and just steal the thing. So, which it should not work like that. Zin, police paid to do their job of protecting the citizens of Jamaica. You get me I say? Law abiding citizens. And when police are do them job, the youths them who are do them shit for allow the police to do them job. And you cannot blame the police when them take them down in a especially in a process like this. Because in the end people me I protect my three points as an officer and them claim say them are gonna take my three points and make a police dope upon them name. You get me? I say celebration, you know. I slap two police boys. Celebration, you know. I slap a police boy. Okay. Enough time, people, as I said before, when things do happen, especially in a some garrison community, we see where persons from those communities will come, say, boom, and go up with plaque on them, black road, them light fire on them, do this and them, do that, and say, a lie, police, a tell, and this and that. You know what I mean? Because what? in the process, the police, them use their methods and corral them and do what them have to do and slap them out. But people don't think like that. They just think, say, yo, the police then come there now and the police then become say, boom, and boom, boom. No. Come on, and that's the corruption what has been going on in Jamaica in several communities. And that's why, because you know, sometimes people, you know, without the people in the community, you know, can come forward and come say boom and give the police certain information. The police can't know. You get me, I say? Especially in a some place where terrorized by gangs and criminals who are carrying out criminal activities and terrorizing communities that they are from and surrounding communities in jamaica it's not a good thing no it's strictly not a good thing you know what i mean so the people them now need to wake up and decide on what they really want yeah we know the big talk you are in farm or you are this but come on people if you have a man who is going around in your community robbing killing off innocent people for no reason at all you get me i say which no man should take no man three points like that come on what do you expect and when police come now and then comes a woman escalate in a shootout with police and police slap out and bust out them head now you are gonna come forward and say Woo, police this police that my god police them are wicked police they shouldn't do it <laughs> mm -hmm. think about it you know what i mean and that's the thing that's been going on, people. That's why several innocent people had died in Jamaica by the hands of criminals, which they never have dead. But because of them stupidity and they don't think and use them head and them brain cell correctly. You know what I mean? So all I can say is my viewers and subscribers, Jamaica people, the need for wake up. You get me also the need for rise up, wake up and come out of the nutshell they wanna you know. You know what I mean? Because, yo, it ain't gonna stop, you know. All I can say, it ain't gonna stop. You know what I mean? Because guns keep on coming in. You get me, I say? Drugs keep on there. Scamming is there. Lot of thief there. Lot of criminal activities there. And once there's criminal people, you're gonna have all of these things. Killing, murders and things. And the next scene is what them say, me can't catch Quaco, me catch him shut up, me go bust out the body head because I'm a link with the body and a friend them. You know what I mean? You may not know. You get me? So, we have to congratulate the officers them when they are doing the right. And I said it in a previous video already. See, Preke Boy, the people, Preke Boy get slapped out and Preke Boy gone. Preke Boy was one of the reigning bad man in a Jamaica. Like, say, the hottest thing in a Jamaica. To be honest, Preke Boy was the hottest thing in a Jamaica from 2019 coming in into 2020, people. You get me? And Preke Boy did claim, say, yo, him or this and him or that. And me said, people, and I talk it already, say, yo, listen, it ain't gonna be forever because. There is so much police and soldiers in Jamaica who are working. You understand, people? And you could have a gang with a bill with a hundred man. You still not have a gang that is big and trained more than the security forces that are in Jamaica. I'm not going to say you're not going to manage to slap one or slap two, but how long you feel so you can do it for? Hmm? And that's why I had said before, the youth them need to learn. The youth them need to wise up and start things straight. Listen man, how much friends we have dead and past and gone. 
You get me? How much friends? Look how much you know when you're going to the cemetery, how much grave you see. You see bird shit pan the grave them. You see rainfall pan them. You see them come to so boom and them and then go dig at the grave and throw dirt pan it. They mix matter pan it and do much things. And you ever see your friend come back? Hmm? Your friend gone. You think your friend they are going to see him back again? No. Life over. Everything finished. All the lavish lifestyle when you used to live on earth gone. All the top care when you used to drive on earth gone. Everything when you used to do on earth gone. You don't have them again. So what do you think? Come on. What do you think? Hmm? Youths, you don't need to wise up. Start things straight. If you don't want to take it from New Link, you know, you don't need to come to the woman going to one corner on a horse by yourself and just think what you want. You get me? I say, because in the end, he ain't gonna be like this forever. I'm telling you, the security forces, they are coming and they are coming more seriously and they're getting more tactical and they're doing a lot of different protocols how to deal with criminals in Jamaica. So you, it's not too late, Zane, for you to make a change and looking on your life. I don't have enough to protect yourself, defend yourself. But going around walking with gun and being bad man and so on, this and that. And come on, it ain't gonna be forever. So you have to think what you all really want. So you don't know the thing of yours and subscribers, man. This is New Link from New Link Production, you know. Now we say attack, attacking you know, the people. And just loving of yours and subscribers. And respect. And just be good and be safe and be great. You don't know. And please do subscribe, people. And if you don't subscribe as yet, please just, you know what I mean? Subscribe and hit the notification bell like, icon, people. And just appreciate everyone who has support and I get the New Link shirt. Them. Everyone who will give you a contribution and people. Big up on yourself. Enough love and enough respect. And people remember, our back to school treat. We are looking. Anybody who can donate something to our back to school treat in Jamaica. If they are Jamaica people, we have people in Jamaica who can collect anything you want to give you because we're not going to be in a Jamaica this year. So, unfortunately, New Link won't be in Jamaica. You get me as a people, but we have people in Jamaica that do associate it with New Link and we're definitely going to do our thing for the youth them get some stuff for them. So, anybody who want to give a contribution, please link up. Please, I'm asking you all, come on board. We do this two years already and this is going to be our third year and we ain't giving up. We ain't stopping. Peace out and respect. Attack! Attack!